this is the guy right here that's like no boat ramp no problem I love the ambition that is how you do it folks just make a boat ramp anywhere guys we're back on the water again for another little adventure uh, today the goal is uh, I really wanted to test out this my new anchor system which is this little guy right here it's uh, just a fiberglass pole it's a parking pole uh, it floats it's got a nice little handle here on the top if you're in shallow water you can drive this thing down into the mud into the bottom of the lake the rock whatever and then you can tie off to it. And so um, this eliminates my kettlebell. This eliminates, I don't know, a lot of rope and stuff that I had before. Um, one of the things that's cool is I can actually go right into the scupper here with it and then just drive it down into the ground and it will hold my location right here, which is pretty slick. Um, the other thing that I can do is I can I can drive this down outside of the kayak and then I have a rope that I can I've got these little carabiners that I can tie off to and then what I've done um, I have not put an anchor trolley on here and if you've seen my past videos I speak very highly of an anchor trolley they're amazing they help you combat the wind and face the direction that you want them to face it makes the kayak fishing experience so much better um, but i haven't put one on here yet i don't know if i'm going to today i'm going to really test this thing out if i go outside and then i can take this other end i've put a bunch of pad eyes throughout um, and then i can just click these in and then that will that will hold me so depending on which way I want to face I can click it on the front or the back of the boat and that will have me face in the right direction and so um, I'm gonna test this out a little bit today we're gonna anchor in a couple different spots and then hopefully maybe catch a fish or two so thanks for riding along hopefully I can keep things entertaining for you and uh, we'll see how the old yak attack park and pull does today this is pretty cool for sure let's just see where it goes Got one. Feels pretty decent too. Fighting. Golly, thing is pulling like crazy. Oh yeah, he's decent. He's decent. Plenty of energy. Oh, my light, my anchor just broke free. <laughs> yeah, mine's not holding well either. This is working pretty good though. Big. 
No, I don't think so. Whoa. What? My rod stuck? <clears throat> okay, well, that was exciting. Let's have a look at the fish, huh? Three and a half. Well, I'm finding that like when I'm in deeper water, um, when it's a little deeper, maybe even a little deeper than this, it works out really nice in the scupper hole because this, this handle stays out of my way. When I get into the really shallow water, this thing sticks way up. It gets in the way of my casting and my field of vision and things like that. But like at this level right here, I feel like this works out really well. Holds my position. You know, it's blowing probably 13 miles an hour um, and it's holding me really good and firm. So I like that part of it for sure. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it. Um, the goal today was really to come out and test the, the park and pole, the anchor system. Uh, the water temperature is still really cold, but we got some warm days ahead of us. So the fishing out here is really going to really going to start heating up. Um, but geez, what a bonus. I'll catch a three and a half pounder any day, right? Caught a couple fish, got to test out the anchor system. It's really cool, check it out. This one only cost me about 70 bucks and I'm liking the simplicity of it thus far. So anyway, hope you guys have an awesome day. Keep fishing and we'll see you next time on No Coast Angling.